Hello everybody, Tom Matuska with Matuska Taxidermy Studio Supply Company live this afternoon with Brett Wingfield once again. And uh, glad you can join us and we are, I keep bringing up the weather, but man, this weather is pretty nice. It's turning a little sloppy around here. However, it's nicer to have a little mud puddle here it and is. there than as cold as we've been experiencing for the last several weeks. And it's finally broken and we think it's going right into summer is what I'm oh, hoping man. for. Cross our um, fingers. Thanks again for spending your afternoon with us. It's kind of fun during the week. We answer a lots and lots and lots of questions. Oh, and I can't tell you how many people say we never miss you. And it's really exciting. I can't wait till Thursday. What are you talking about Thursday? And, and uh, a lot of the things that we're showing you is just routine, mundane stuff that we do absolutely every day. Um, and a lot of you people haven't seen it or done it the way yeah. we do it. Not that we do it the right way. Um, we do a lot of things the wrong way, but somehow we make them work. Um, but if we can share any of our ideas with you that happen to work, and we also like your questions. So be feel free yeah. to make sure and text in your questions because we really appreciate them. And, and uh, by you asking questions it, and us answering them helps everybody else out there also. So... Make sure you do that. Don't don't think that your inconvenience is us because it, I think we should ask them questions. All right, we should. <laughs> I think we should. One day we'll have a a live where we just ask them a whole bunch of questions. Yeah, but you know how how people are afraid to ask questions because they're going to sound stupid. I feel I was going to sound stupid, so I wouldn't ask questions. I wouldn't ask either. Um, anyway, today or I guess last week to start recap a little bit, we skinned a crappie. Yeah, and uh, we uh, showed you. A, couple different ways coating yeah. them with Almer's glue and denatured alcohol and I don't know if any of you had a chance to do that I know some of the students did here yeah and had a lot of success with the crappies and for a Man. beginner who has never skinned a fish before let alone a crappie um, to be able to skin crappies and mount them we had some of the nicest crappies we... in the process of this class that are going to be a dream to finish yeah. Um, to fix the seams and put in the eyes and do the fins is going to be really, really pleasant because they've got all their scales. Yep. And it's a little bit of effort. We showed you how to paint the Elmer's glue on. That's kind of a, uh, my go-to way if I, if I want to be sure not to lose any scales. Yep. Or um, DNH alcohol is, yep. is very good. It takes a little more experience because you have to watch how you bend the fish. Um, Borax, a lot of people borax their crappies and dry, dry that them. skin, really, really dry. A dried crappie or white bass is, that will help yeah. you a lot too. So there's a lot of different ways to do that. And we just showed you a couple. 